Hello everyone, I'm at TechCon SoCal 2025 and I'm here with Jeep Klein, who is the founder and managing partner at Razewell Ventures. Hello Jeep, how are you doing? Hi, great, nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. So Jeep, uh, a VC who has the global perspective and who has also looked at a range of verticals like healthcare, education, deep tech, etc. Can you tell us which are the technologies which have most potential for sustainable global impact? It's very hard to actually pick one single technology. Okay, so if I step back um, a little bit and look at the, you know, how the world is moving forward um, in the next 10 years, um, especially the fact that we want um, to achieve net zero um, by 2050, I think that there will be um, three key main themes, okay. three themes that need to kind of like work together and ship in in order to move the needle that would be one um we call climate tech right that would include uh food tech agriculture tech ev um green materials and any platform technology that would help reduce co2 the second area that also has to happen because it's still a backbone of the economy is manufacturing and supply chain tech Okay, any technology that would help improve productivity and efficiency of production using AI. And the third area which we cannot avoid is called health tech. And that would stem from digital health um, devices to biotech, pharmaceutical, therapeutics. And these are the key areas that are really important um, for investors to invest in in order to move the economy in the next five to ten years. One of the other global pattern we are observing is that when it comes to AI access, uh, especially infrastructure, yes. we are seeing great disparity between developed countries and the emerging economies. Yes. Can this lead to some labor challenge or other economic uh, concerns globally? And how do you think we can address this? Yeah, absolutely. In these few years, as you know, AI has been rising. And the, rate, and the rate of change in the tech ecosystem is even much higher than the last 20 years that we have seen. So if the enterprise companies, the government, um, private sector of SME, if they don't try to capitalize on it and understand on how to use AI um, to improve productivity of their work and you know, their labor and their talents, they're going to be falling behind much, much faster. Um, a lot of us call this a third revolution, right? The first one, of course, the PC era. The second one is the smartphone. This is the third one. And we are in the beginning of it. And only two years, you've seen a lot of things have changed very fast. My student now, they, you know, they use AI to help them um, do, you know, paper coursework and whatnot. They also use it to like record and note takings. This actually improve the productivity of learning. And students or people in emerging markets who do not have access, it means that productivity growth has been very, very minimal versus countries like ours. The productivity growth has been very rapid. And I think this is something that we have to do something about. Any views on TechCon SoCal event? I mean, how could you not love this? Cool. Um, yes, meeting a lot of interesting founders, um, students, and we need more like this um, in the Bay Area outside Silicon Valley. Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate it. You. Likewise. Yeah.